Landon, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? I'm good about yourself. Love story. Uh, all good on this end. How tough was that loss? I mean, you guys looked like you had it in the second half. It got away. It was very tough. I mean, we worked, we worked our tails off. We knew what they were going to do. Um, and we went out there and we did what we can, did what we can and didn't pull off the win. Why were they able to run the ball the way they were against I, you? I don't know. Gap assignments? Mm -hmm. uh, Miss gap assignments. Guys not using their hands or um, just, playing, or just playing football, honestly. Now, is that a normal thing that can happen to a team, or is it disconcerting that in such a big game this late in the year that something that can be a simple fix can happen like that? Yeah, just a simple fix can happen like that. Honestly, it's certain things that you know, you work hard on and, and key concepts and keep on doing, and when you get to the game, you just kind of just don't do it, and it kills you in the end. Does it seem, Landon, it seemed like you guys had to win out. Now, mathematically, you're still in it, but what kind of a blow is that to to lose that game? It was a big blow. We wanted to win down there and make it easier on ourselves to take that to take that win and just keep on moving from there, keep it going, and keep our streak alive because that that's that's the divisional game is a win. Now they two they two two games above us, and now we got to really continue finishing the game the season out. Now, Landon, you've been positive all season long, even when you were 1-7, and seven, and I know you're going to have a fight all season long. Are you confident that everybody else in the room shares your same enthusiasm? Yeah, I think so. Um, we, I like, like, we tired of losing. Obviously, we're not losing. We don't have a losing coach. We don't have a losing bone in our body, but we did not get gather in the wins that we want to, want to gather. And uh, I know guys, and a lot of guys that's in there, not just they're playing for a new, for a new deal plan to stay on the team and like you like to say it's end of the year everybody's being evaluated uh, no matter what so um if you want to continue staying on this team you got to play your butt off and um, always always remember you got to play for the name on the uh, on your back let me ask you this landon what is the deal with the giants and the eagles it's just unbelievable how much they have beaten you lately I don't know, honestly. Like, we know they caught it. We, we know what they're going to do. It's just really who's going to finish the game out. And that's that's all it is from that point on. You know, it's interesting watching every game. You were blown out by Philadelphia the first time you played them. But for the most part, you've been in a lot of these games, Landon. Now, there's no medals for trying. But do you think that there's a lot of guys in that room that have to learn how to win? Is that is that is that a fair statement that maybe there's some guys that just haven't learned how to win yet? Uh, I I put it in terms. I think a lot of guys don't know how to win on the NFL level. Okay. Uh, a lot of guys came from winning programs, um, including myself, um, just learning how to win on the NFL stage. Um, they got to understand that there's not college. College is where you know you're the better team. You put so many points up on a team, a team give up, right? NFL, nah. No team gives up. Every team try to figure out a way to finish the game and come back into the game. And... That's 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 the difference. I got to ask you about a play yesterday. I, I'm so impressed with you as a player. It's amazing mm -hmm. how good you are. You start out mm -hmm. on the right side. Uh, I think one of their receivers is in motion, and you go, and then you make the tackle on the entire other side of the field. What keeps your motor running despite tough times? How do you do it? I mean, how do you continue <laughs> to be motivated? Do you remember the play I'm talking I, about? I think I recall. I think you recall the the tight end, I think yes. it was the tight end. Yeah, it was the tight end. And then, uh, yep. Yeah, and then I just shot the gap. Honestly, that's just instincts, but uh, honestly, for, 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 for you asking that question, it is myself and how I put myself on a pedestal and how I want to always be in a conversation of who's the best safety or who's one of the top DBs in the NFL. I always want to be in that conversation no matter what has gone on. Um, if I'm losing on a losing team, I'm on a winning team, you know, and um, – that's something big for myself. So you, I mean, technically, Landon, when you're out there, three and seven's not even in your head. It's just play to play. That's what all the great players in all sports tell me. You got to take it pitch to pitch, play to play, at bat to at bat, shot to shot in basketball. So you're not even thinking record or where you have to go to make the playoffs. That's You just want to excel on that play. Correct. Honestly, yeah, because you never know what play could change or, change or make. Uh, you can make a run, honestly, you know. And, um... If I would have shot and made him for his fumble and he scooped and scored, it may be, maybe be a big difference. You know, certain plays is out there for you to make, and 
great plays are out there for you to make, and you just got to make them when you, when, you, when you have the opportunity. I felt it, and the Eagles certainly said it was a turning point, the interception at the end of the first half. Instead of getting points, you walk away with none. Going into the locker room, despite having the lead, did you feel that the momentum might have been taken by the Eagles on that pick? Uh, I would say, I mean, they, they kind of gave them some life, saying that they, they were still out there fighting because, you, you know, uh, you know, we were trying to attack them. But um, I, at the end of the half, nah, they would have got it. When they had more time on the clock, then maybe they would have got more from it. But I didn't think that interception changed the outcome, would have changed the outcome of the game. How good is Ertz? How tough is he to contain? He's very good. Honestly, one of the best tight ends in the game. Uh, contain. Hard. It's very hard to contain. They put him in all different situations. They get him mismatched. They get him um, out in the open by himself as much as possible. Uh, misdirection is, is so much they do with, with him. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a dynamic guy. Now, you haven't been here for all of this, but that's, that's the 18th time the Eagles have beaten the Giants in 22 games, Landon. So mm -hmm. do, do they have your number? Is that a thing that players think of when, when a team – dominate you like that for a long period of time no nah, no nah, i never thought of it like that <laughs> but uh uh i didn't know it was 18 times but hey it happens um uh, sometimes it'd be that way but um we're gonna figure it out and just keep moving from there i'm wondering is it particularly tough to take landon when you look at the division you guys play in and it's mm -hmm. winnable, man. I, there, there could be a three-way tie. Uh, uh, three teams could have six wins, and then the Giants with, with three. Uh, this this is a very winnable division, and you guys are struggling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> six yeah, and five, six and five, and five and six, yep. Yeah, it's very winnable. It's still out there in the grabs. We just got to go out there and just kind of just keep our head down focus straight forward on the next game that we have in front of us and keep on winning games. If we, um, if we do that, you never know what the outcome could be, you know? Tell me why you believe that Pat Shermer is the right coach for this team. Um, you just put everybody in. I feel like he's trying to put everybody in the right position, give everybody the opportunity to, opportunity to be their best at the position that they play in. And uh, he's just trying to put the pieces in, pieces together to make sure we have a winning team. And I love that about a coach because, I mean, it's hard in the NFL. You know, you can't scout guys. You can't you can't recruit guys and just say, oh, come sign here. You know, you only get a number of guys, and you have to work with, you, with, with what you got. Landon, we appreciate your time. We'll talk to you next Monday. Appreciate it.